This is a presentation of RBT Entertainment. This isn't about the dead, it's about the living. It's about my mother. It's about my sister. It's about my wife. It's about the 14 years it took me to go from undesirable to un-goddamn deniable. You know, they say all men are created equal. But you look at me and you look at Small Joe, and you can see that statement is not true. Because I'm better than you, and you know it. In the back, there are men and women Seasoned professionals, dues paid in full, gunning to be the best. I'll always light the way, and all you have to do is let me in. Oh, a little bit of the bubbly. The cream of the crop. Nobody does it better. Hey, hi, hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the WrestleCast, presented by RBT Entertainment on Podomatic, Spotify, YouTube, and wherever else you may find this fine audio recording and live on RBT Entertainment's official twitch.bt.tv channel. We're talking about professional wrestling, both for the mainstream and the independent scene. My name's Matt J, and guys, and guys, don't worry, we're going to make you laugh for 90 minutes. My name's Matt J, and that is TWK. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, I'm TW Cam Teeter Care Reviews, and I'm here to review a wonderful weekend of wrestling. Wonderful week, if you really think about it. Joining us, as always, ladies and gentlemen, the one and only Shin Tiger Girl. It's dim sometime. Yes, sir. Your ears are not deceiving you. Your ears are not deceiving you. It is once again I, Duke Hudson. Now, do Hudson, why are you smiling so smugly? What is it uh, that's got you so happy? Because I just saved a bunch on my car insurance. Nice. Oh, oh that's nice and wholesome. Yeah. By whipping out my penis. God damn it. Which is incredibly huge. <sighs> One Twitter joke and here we are. All right. Before we get to anything else, for those wondering, Dude Cuts, and he had he has this picture where he looks like he's smug like a motherfucker, as if he has the world's largest cock, and here we are. Gonna run it to the ground, burying him in the goddamn process. Just had to decide to have a nice little picture that made him look like he was well and goddamn dowed. So that's you their whole explanation. The that's your context. If you ask again, I'm not explaining it again. You can't bury me in the ground, Maddie. My cock's far too big to be buried by any stretch of dirt. <laughs> ah, ah, ah. Uh, tell that to the time variance authority, I'll tell you that much. One Viagra too much. All right, Maddie, what is on the agenda Viagra. for tonight? <laughs> See, even Tina wants to move on. Well, we got some news. Uh, we have to start with uh, some some bad news. As someone actually, uh, I think Renigo brought it up right there. We will discuss it, of course, uh, in, in a few minutes. We have uh, Money in the Bank and Slammiversary. Uh, two bucks says you don't know which one we're, you know, you know, two, three guesses as to which one we're actually looking forward to watching this weekend. And the first two don't count. Um uh, no, okay, yeah, anniversary, amount of money in the bank, uh, both in front of crowds again. So, yay! We're almost you. You you guys are almost here, and we're in Canada because it, because people who they 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 don't want shit to happen. We just want to be locked up during the summertime again. I'm just happy to have my vaccine starting tomorrow. My, my second shot, my second dose tomorrow. Work through the pain. Which is just a pinch, really. Maybe a little bit of swelling. Maybe a little salt arm. That's about it. Clip of the week, boys. I, I, I think I should do clip of the week. This was hard to decide on. There were, there were some wonderful audio out there. Beautiful audio. All of it. But there is one I think needs to be it needs to be the highlighted because goddamn 
What a fucking turnaround. I am talking about the one and only Dr. Britt Baker, DMD, who started pre-pandemic, not really clicking with the crowd. Oh boy. A difference. What a difference. 15 months a make. Take a listen. All right, a couple of weeks ago, we saw Nyla Rose, your challenger coming up at Fighter Fest, put you through a table. Everybody's concerned now about your well-being. Don't worry about my well-being because I've dealt with multiple tables and ladders and chairs and thumbtacks. And you know what happened? The blood stopped, the wounds healed, and I came out the baddest bitch on the block. So if you think for one second you see fear in my eyes, you better look again. But you know what is daunting? Keeping Nyla Rose relevant. Because imagine winning the world championship title only to find out your first challenger is Nyla. And I know what you're gonna say, so stop right there. She's, she's beat me multiple times. And she's at the top of the food chain. But I'm off the menu because I'm special order and I'm in a league of my own. And I know you're back there, Vicky Guerrero, listening to this. And luckily for you, you have a last name that will forever keep you relevant in professional wrestling. But your client, not so much. Because Nyla, you need this. Do you have any type of significance in AEW? But this isn't going anywhere except right back around my waist where it belongs. And with this, I'm the hottest thing in professional wrestling. But even without it, I'm still Dr. Britt Baker. D Did you hear the crowd when she said D-M-D? Good Lord. Folks, Dr. Britt, over as fuck. Over like Rover. Mm -hmm. Whew, that was a spicy promo. It was that was. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And that segment... Uh, was one of the most highest viewed of the week, I believe, if not the highest, with 1.1 million viewers. 1.1, they settled around 1.025, which is over a million, which is, yup. So, yeah, uh, the diligence and patience of AEW starting to pay off. And that's just one example. Darby Allen over like hell, Young Bucks and Kenny Omega. Big fucking heels now. Hangman, Hang we have discussed last week. Ricky Starks. Ricky Starks, which is a freaking revelation right there. Yep, you also got Jungle Boy in the wings. Also Jungle they... Boy in the wings. He got a good pop. John Moxley, they got people singing Wild Thing. Also this week, it was announced that after his MLW contract is now officially ran out, the Varsity Blondes have now officially signed with AEW full time. Yeah, that's what it was. They were tied up with MLW. That ran out. As soon as they did, bada bing, bada boom, Varsity Blondes, AEW bound officially. And Brian Bowen Jr. still has a lot of years left on his uh, life, so he's still young. I know I say this about a lot of tag teams in AEW, but Varsity Blondes, future tag champs. I'd Absolutely. also say that you could say that about possibly private party as well. Um, private party yeah. that Jesus that the list goes too fucking long at this point. Yeah, AEW, you could put the tiles on Daniel yeah. any of their tag teams. Okay, Sparta, welcome aboard. Uh watch expect anything y'all want to know. How's the set set look? I'm trying I was trying to look at uh pictures and saw Finn Balor on, on SmackDown and I hey, got Finn sat in my fucking got place. I, I looked it up. Balor's got a program with Sami Zayn, so looks like maybe a SummerSlam. Balor and Zayn, one on one. I'll fucking take it. That's a great first man. That's a face. That's yes, yes. Could be worse. Could be. Could worse. be way worse. Sami Zayn versus Finn Balor. Sign me up for that. I, I'm okay with that. 
that we knew that Ben Bauer had to return eventually. It had to happen. It was inevitable. He can't stay in NXT forever. Uh, JC thinks the set looks pretty cool. It looks pretty good. Uh, from the pictures I've seen, it looks like the WrestleMania 35 set. Yeah, like one big fat giant LED screen and the, no ramp from what I've seen. Or like there's a ramp, but it's like all black flooring. But I couldn't, I couldn't have a good view of it. Let's put it that way. Also, there's a Vince McMahon cameo. Okay, it. fair enough. That's right. You had to have a crowd without the biggest grapefruits in sports entertainment. Quite and a picture of Gary Stratton. Yay! Wait a minute. This isn't a picture of Gary Stratton. This is this is me, Duke Hudson. God damn it! <laughs> you may have the you may have the biggest grapefruits in God. WWE in professional wrestling, Vince. But they're nothing compared to the biggest sausage in professional wrestling. Phrasing! Mine, Duke Hudson. All of the phrasing. Well, I guess it's kind of awkward to get to our news, especially with the way that we have to start off. Uh, earlier this week, it was reported that Mr. Wonderful Paul Orndorff passed away. Yeah, by his son, who I think the last post he did was him uh, bringing his father home and having a beer with him. Which was very nice, all things considered. And that <sighs> seems to be the word to describe Mr. Wonderful, according to many of his acquaintances. Yeah, One of he those was dudes. wonderful to work with. This just means we only have three members of the original Heenan family left alive. And who would that be? Uh... Haku slash Ming, yeah, and the Brain Busters, Arn Anderson and Tully Blanchard. Oh my God! Yeah, like when it comes to like the main core, though, uh, that yeah, you the 